I think one of my favorite modern advancements when it comes to our smartphones is how many really cool things we are now able to do with AI. And Samsung, kind of in the same vein as this, has just released, actually about a couple of weeks ago and nobody noticed, but anyways, they just released a new application here detailed on Sam Mobile, Galaxy Enhance. And what this app is meant to do is it is meant to take your photos that maybe were a little blurry, maybe they were a little bit out of focus, maybe they were just taken on a really old phone, they don't look that good today, and enhance them using AI. So what we're gonna do in today's video is we are going to take a look at that application and we're gonna try it out on some of my own photos to give you kind of a walkthrough of how well it works. Now unfortunately this app is only available on Samsung devices. I'm gonna be testing this on my Z Fold 2 and in fact it technically was not available for the Z Fold 2 although it is on APK mirror and you are able to sideload it. I tried sideloading it on my Surface Duo to test it and you cannot actually select an image. It looks like it wants to use uh, Samsung's built-in gallery app to find the image. So not really gonna work on other devices, but still on my Z Fold 2. Let's see what this app is actually capable of. So we're gonna start off with this photo of myself and my wife from a long time ago. This is when we, I believe we first got together almost a decade ago at this point. As you can see, uh, short hair, very strange to see. And we're gonna see what this thing is capable of doing. This was actually taken on a Moto X, if I'm remembering correctly. This is an old photo. So first thing I just wanna try is, let's just try the automatic enhance button and just see what it's able to do and see how big of a difference that makes. You can see the after here and the before here and that i feel like that's already a bit of an improvement it looks like it kind of smoothed over a lot of things though doesn't it like look at look at the textures of uh my wife's face there and it looks like they're definitely smoothed out my uh my face also appears to be a bit smoother that's interesting but let's go to sharpen let's see if we can actually bring some of these details back out again and that's already starting to look pretty impressive if we zoom in here, let's zoom in and do the, the old beard hair test. You can see, look at that before and after. That is a ton of detail that it has brought back out. That's actually very impressive. Let's go ahead and do the HDR function as well. Oh yeah, that is a really big difference. Look at the clarity around, around like my eyes, for instance. That is a really big difference. One, two, three, four. Okay, so four is way too much. We're gonna stick with two. And I think that's looking pretty good. If we're going straight up before and after between these two, that's a lot, that's a big improvement. Let's just see what Brighton does. I think I don't think this really needs to be Brighton, but we'll, we'll try it out anyways. And all this is beginning to have like an artificial look to yeah there's some there's some weird stuff yeah i don't i don't think that's i think that was actually worse we're, we're gonna get rid of that yeah the brightening actually made it look a little bit worse to me and i don't think that the fixed blur makes any sense here because nothing's really moving yeah not not a huge change there but i think overall we're gonna save that one i think that's an improvement so under the more button you have a few more things like you have the fixed wire button which is going to get rid of like a latticey effect i think this is actually supposed to be useful if you're taking a photo of a screen because that gets a little bit weird there's the ability to remove reflections so if my glasses have any noticeable uh, reflections on them perhaps this will get rid of that i don't really think that there was much going on in terms of those reflections did that actually do anything a little bit it is a little bit more clear around my eyes so we'll keep that there is a face smoothing there as well as a portrait let's really quickly test that ability to add a portrait mode to an old photo that did not use portrait mode we're going to use ai to basically figure out where the depth of the image should be and where to be blurred and i'm really curious to see how well this is actually going to work and there you go that has actually blurred around my head it has blurred the couch sort of softly as it moves closer and closer that looks like that was taken with portrait mode turned on that is really impressive and you can actually go in and do all sorts of other effects high key mono i don't <laughs> know who would want that picture but it's an option low key mono is interesting kind of a studio portraity vibe going on color point so it's taken all the color out of everything but the stuff in the foreground it did it did miss this area here but that's we can forgive that given the circumstances. We have a zoom blur. There's all sorts of different blurs you can apply with that. That's actually really good. Let's try another picture here. This is my dog who turns 12. 
in only a few short days, and this was her before she was even one year old. And you can see here, this is uh, quite blurry, not a very good picture at all. So let's see first off, let's do the automatic enhancement, and let's zoom back in and see if this has made a big difference. And in this instance, it's actually made it worse in this instance. Appreciably worse. So we're gonna roll that back. Let's try the sharpen option. That is a little bit better, we're gonna keep that. Here's one that is uh, kind of frustrating for me because it is a little bit blurry. This lizard, Leo, was moving around when I took the photo, so it wound up being a little bit blurry. Can this application actually fix a blurry lizard? Let's find out. It's perfecting the pixels. Now, let's zoom in, and you know what? That has done a far better job than I was actually expecting. That is pretty respectable. Wow, look at that. Let's try the the uh, just the general enhance button. We're looking pretty good. Let's just further sharpen. I mean, to go from that to that is pretty impressive. This has gone from an image that I, I probably wouldn't keep to one that I feel like I could keep and wouldn't be bothered by this at all. So this image is one of my all-time favorite pictures that I've ever taken. This was a heck of a storm rolling in. It was an unbelievable straight line wind event and I got a really nice picture of it. Let's see what this thing can do because it is with a very, very old phone, a very old camera. Let's see if it can bring up some details and make it look more like what I saw with my eyes all those years ago. We've definitely changed the color We've definitely brightened it. We've brought out some more detail here, I believe, as well. That is interesting. Is that better or worse? I don't remember if it was quite this blue looking, but it's definitely clearer. Sharpening it further. Let's look at the Cash Express sign there. That is definitely a little bit clearer. Less grain, for sure, in the image. I think the HDR option, even at two, is too much. Yeah, we're definitely not gonna wanna use the HDR, the HDR option on that one. Overall, I, I think if I, if I go in and I tune the color a bit and I bring the blueness down a little bit, I think that's actually a little bit of an improvement. Let's test out that ability to remove reflections. What you're looking at here is something very, very cool. This is a teardown of a Game Boy Color on, in a frame on a cool backdrop link in the description to XRR if you wanna buy one of those yourself of course i'm going to take the opportunity to plug that here let's go to more and let's go to remove reflections i don't know how well this is going to work this is not something i have tried so we're going to find out live here together perfecting the pixels once again and that did not do uh, a very good job at all uh, it, it lessened them a little bit that one up there at the top right there dead center is a little bit better i mean okay it's helping a little Let's give it another chance on my computer tower. Let's try to remove these reflections. I'm pretty underwhelmed with what it did with my x Art Game Boy Color. Maybe it'll do better on my PC tower, maybe? Uh, no, not really. Okay, so don't expect anything magical in terms of reflections. But in terms of just kind of upscaling almost older, smaller images, bringing out some details, getting rid of some motion blur even, I'm pretty impressed with this application. So there you go, guys. I will leave a link to this app in the description. It can do some pretty impressive stuff. Like I said, don't expect anything too incredible. Don't expect pure magic out of this thing, but to simply make a current image look a little bit better, definitely worth a look if you are a Samsung user. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.